With a little more than 20 days to go before the election, the campaign office for DPP candidate Lai Qingde unveiled its upcoming strategy. After Lai returns from around the island trip starting on December 21st, the party next month is preparing a large-scale mobilization on street corners and with motorcades. The latest My Formosa poll has Lai at 35.2% support, maintaining his lead. Pan Meng An, campaign manager for DPP candidate Lai Qingde, personally oversaw a news conference to announce the candidate's four-day trip around Taiwan starting on December 21st. If we win, apart from building national projects, we will also realize the infrastructure wishes of each municipality. This trip is an illustration of our concern for the needs of our communities. On December 21st, Lai is to head south from Ilan to Pingdong before returning to Taipei on December 24th. At every stop along the way, the candidate plans to share his vision for their infrastructural futures. The campaign additionally announced a winning formula, starting with local canvassing on January 3rd, then motorcades with Lai and vice presidential candidate Xiaobi Kim starting on January 8th. In tandem with the start of street canvassing by local party offices on January 3rd, Lai is to begin stumping for votes in his hometown of New Taipei City. On January 8th, Lai and Xiao are to start canvassing by motorcade across Taiwan. The latest poll by My Formosa shows Lai ahead with 35.2% support, followed by KMT candidate Ho Yoi in second with 30.6%, and Koenja of the TPP trailing with 19.6%. With only 4.6 percentage points separating the DPP and KMT challengers, campaigning is on. Polls are supposed to serve as a reference, not affect the outcome. Our internal polling actually shows Ho and Ke neck and neck. With its own polls showing the opposition in a stalemate, the Lai campaign said it is to stay the course as they head into the election.